Jag vet inte vad man gör så här. Aj! <laughs> Love the smell of new stuff. Tjena, tjena, and welcome back to the channel once again. I'm Lodewig Niederbach. So I got myself a new lens. It's been a while. Uh, I've been going with my favorite lens, the 56 millimeter lens for quite some time now. I use it for pretty much all photographing I do. But from time to time, I wish I had a little bit of a wider lens. Not as wide as the 19 millimeter lens. Not as wide. A more portrait lens that I can shoot a full body shot. And that's why I got myself the Sigma 30mm lens with an f1.4. It's the same series as, as the 56. They have three of them. They have the 56, the 30, and I think it's the 16mm lens. So I went with the 30 because I already got a 19. So it's. I thought, why do I need a 16 and a 19? The difference is not that huge. So I went with the 30. But yeah, so far I haven't really tried it out yet, so I'm actually gonna go out this weekend and shoot some with it. We'll see what we'll do. Uh, we're planning on going to pick some berries, so maybe I'll, I'll probably bring it and use it for that trip. Take the ATV out, maybe get some nice pictures. We'll do something with it, for sure. I'll figure something out. At least I'm gonna try it. That's that's the plan for the weekend. Let's mount it on the G9 and see how it looks or and how it feels. People say they're plastic. Uh, I think this one is this is kind of plastic feeling to it. Not like not soft plastic. It's quite hard. The rest of the lens is. Uh, I don't know if it's a little. Plastic, I can't really tell, but it's quite solid plastic if it is. It's not weather sealed, but I read some reviews of it and they said it's it can take a punch and some rain, but I don't know how much and I'm, I don't want to try it out. I bought it with my own money, so that's why I'm not risking anything. But yeah, I'm gonna head out and try it out. Uh, See how the autofocus works, see how it handles everything, see if we can get some good pictures. Stay tuned to see the results of it. I was planning on doing that, or I did it, but I changed my mind. We're gonna go in a different direction here. I actually do a kind of POV video while I'm using the 30 mil lens. So let's go. Do you want to be in a video? Do I have a choice? No. <laughs> Kan linda den här runt ditt, äda upp med huvudet. Mm. 
Ela tá entrando lá já. Ai! Filho morto. Filho morto. Fiz uma pobreza. That should turn out way better than I had planned, which is awesome. It never goes the way I want, but this time it actually ended up really nice, to be honest. I had such a blast shooting with this lens. It was so much fun. I felt like you can be so creative with it. You can get very close up shots. You can get a, a little bit wider of a portrait shot. I changed my mind because it's a portrait lens. I was planning on go go out in the woods and snap some photos. I actually did that as well. And this is the results. They turned out very nice. I brought out the old fairy lights, rigged that up and snapped some portrait photos, which turned out really nice, but not just because my girlfriend is good looking. The quality of the images that comes from this lens are so awesome. With a 30 mil, it was quite easy. You didn't need to back off so much. And to get everything in the frame that I wanted in the frame, like the background and everything, it was it was easier because when you have, we say, of 80 mil, when you back off, to get everything in the frame, the subject is getting smaller and smaller. So I could still get her in a good size of the frame, but at the same time have everything around her look on a decent size and whatever I wanted in the frame, I could have it in the frame. And the quality of the lens, like the pictures that comes out, it's it's quite a cheap lens. It's not maybe it's not a top line lens. It's good quality lens. Like it's a cheap and good quality. The images that comes out from it are amazing. So I highly recommend the lens. The down part with this lens is it's not weather sealed, which for some people are very important. I usually shoot inside or I when I go out. It's barely, pretty much never rains when I go outside. I either go out before the, ra the rain or after the rain. I'm pretty much never outside photographing when it's raining. I don't want to risk my my gear of getting damaged. But I know you get the be best pictures when you risk the gear pretty much. That's it for this video. I hope you like it. Leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing and go to my Instagram. Follow me there if you want to see the pictures that I take. Uh, other than that, I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.